it just never ends guys it never ends you know never ends in steve's world you know i'm glad god gives me strength people you know he's giving me strength because i need it okay it's just i'm just getting bombarded right and left not so much on the right but definitely on the left yeah with everything on the left is screwed up okay everything they touch is screwed up duh wow we need an election soon guys i mean soon anyway if it wasn't for the crazy you know if, if steve-o's plate wasn't full enough with the crazy far left shenanigans illegal shenanigans too by the way um, yeah, but that wasn't enough, you know, now I go out there and we've got <coughs> not only the bull ants, uh, we got the Argentine ants, we got the fire ants, we got them all, guys. Invasion, just constant bombardment on Stevo's delicate little beehives. Now back in the day when I was palletized had a forklift and I was loading bees out I could come up guys I wouldn't see them bees for a whole month and had come back and the fire ants would be up on the sides of those hives right up just about halfway and and they're just trying to get into every little crack and them bees were just constantly battling it was just a battle of the insect world back and forth just holding them back because they knew if they invade they're going to take out all their brood they'll eat all them baby bees they'll eat the sugar in there the, the honey rather I mean they would just wipe out a hive and then bees really I had some badass bees they still are badass today battling these things but so we want to help the bees we'll help the far left uh yeah we'll help those people in the 2024 election we'll help those people but for right now that's a ways out but for right now let's handle the invasion of the friggin carpenter ants are a real bit and they love to hit my little noose they're real fragile See, these nukes start out, when I introduce a virgin, I'm, I'm, in, uh, I'm introducing that virgin on only three frames. And actually, one of those frames is just honey and pollen. The other two, is what I try to do anyway, is, is give him some sealed brood and uh, maybe some open brood too, because it's got nurse bees all over that. And uh, I try to get as many, as much, sealed brood as I can to make up that three frame nuke and then it's a five frame box so I'll put two planes on the outside well that's a very delicate hive you have you have enough in there to do this do its thing we've even done this with one frame these guys that are running minis mini nukes these breeders they're running these little bitty foam boxes and you talk about vulnerable there I've seen them scatter them all over the field. They just put them, you know, they put them in all different directions. So when the queen comes back from mating flight, she's not confused to know what she, she orientates when she comes out of the box to go on her mating flight. But when she comes back, she can orientate to that box because she's done her little circle around, you know? But her sitting on the ground. I'll tell you what, I don't think I could pull that game off in, in this state. I really don't. I, I just, I'd be wiped out. I mean, you got to get these things up on stands. And um, so that's what I'm doing. I've got a little invasion here. I'm going to kick the rest. You know, Steve's on it. Steve O's on it. The man upstairs is giving me the power to kick the rest, okay, and permission. All right. So that's what I'm going to do. So, what, am I, what have I got here today? I gotta show you this little, uh, we're making moats, basically, a moat, all right? And here's your reservoir. Cat food, you know any cat lovers? These are aluminum cans, they're not bad. Uh, 
here is one made up that's the reservoir you're going to put used motor oil go down to your mechanic buddy and ask him for some used motor oil get a get a uh, get a jug like this don't get confused put used oil on it and just save it just strictly for your ant motes and here's the platform right here all this is is a two by four i caught it took a two by four the last one i had i cut a rail out of it i just split it Eat a concrete block everything's sitting on concrete block and you want to level your block from this end to that end make sure it's level you can just throw you a, a rail on it i use pipes now a lot of guys can use you use i've seen strut sign struts that works good too them are good and sturdy the pipes i have you could use chain link guys you could use chain link and you could use these here if you could get them eight foot long see the uprights the uprights are thicker if you had really lightweight nukes you could get away with this thin stuff here you, you you see it all over online people throwing this stuff away you can get it so it's not like you got to go out and buy stuff and concrete blocks the same thing there's concrete blocks you, you can get those they're 16 inches those blocks are 16 so you lay them flat you level up the ground and then this is going to go on this is going to go on each end you're going to have a concrete block sitting under here level right and one down there level whatever the length of your piping is and you just take 14 gauge wire buy your rolls of wire lows whatever and wrap it pull up in the center you're going to feed out of the center of this reel okay cover it with gorilla tape and that way you can just set this down and grab it with your lineman pliers and jerk out what you need and you fold it in a half and then you pinch you pinch that one end together you pinch it together i did an eighth inch pilot hole okay and then i came back with a quarter inch and went down through so that works out really really slick and just throw your wires in and when they're bunched up just slam them down there use pt lumber get some mileage out of this stuff get pt lumber all right you can buy two by twos cut them 16 inches or you can buy two by four and if you got a table saw split it and then while you're set up uh set up get a chop saw and chop these these are two inch they're inch and a half by two inches tall get you some flashing wire at lows just old really roofing flash and real thin stuff see that's all you need for a little roof when you cut it it, it will have a, a natural bend to it all right so you want to put that bend downward because you're making a rain half you don't want rainwater to get in here you're going to fill these you're going to fill these with not all the way up you're going to fill them up oh probably three quarters of an inch with with used motor oil all right so I whacked up a whole bunch of these, and here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go buy a, a bunch of these, cat, buy some cat food. I'm going to bait up some critters. i got to trap critters here anyway, so I'm going to kill two birds with one shot. I'm going to bait critters, and I'm going to get, I'm gonna get uh, reservoirs at the same time. I'll wash these out, dry them out well. I got some silicone and a, and a caulk gun. I'm going to I'm going to put a nice jobber dauber of silicone on there. White, clear, it don't matter and then come up here while it's wet and just center it up and go smash right there and just set it aside. I'll make up a bunch of these. And that way and that way that won't be shifting around. And it'll be glued in. I will I'll also staple this on, but you can come up, once this is stapled on, you just eyeball it, hit it with a T50. Let this, let this dry first. Put that in first. So you can look straight down and eyeball that so you've got equal amount and just set, punch it in there. And that silicone will lock up on there, and that's not going anywhere. You, this little reservoir thing here will last for years, okay? You're using PT wood. And there's really, it'll take forever to rot this thing out of here. And with that glue on there, that silicone, it'll stay right there. 
So what you can do after you've done it, you, you can actually load this with oil, center your piece, and hit it one time with a T50 stapler there. Okay, so let that, let that dry. Come back the next day, pre-cut pre -cut all your little roofs. That's plenty of flashing to cover that, so you see. These, these will be going on top of the blocks. Once you get your roof set, you just go over to your block and you're gonna go right about here with it and one over there, one little ant reservoir, that's it. You can set that up and then put your, then put your uh, pipes on and it will stay there, okay? Now, if you go up there ramming your leg into it or something, yeah, you're gonna move it, but no, just be careful. Once you get a hive or two on it, the weight, the weight of these hives will hold that thing in place. You don't need anything to anchor it down. I've, I've, I've had these things sitting out in 60 mile an hour winds. No problemo. Thanks for coming by the old base camp today. Get out there and get some of this stuff done. Uh, order you a bunch of, if you've got them, high beetles, that's another invader we have. Varroa mites, another invader. You have got to stay on top of this. I hear all these natural, oh, I'm a natural beekeeper. Okay, I talked to them a year or two after with their natural stuff. I said, how's it going? Well, I've got a bunch of boxes, but I don't have any bees. So what happened? Uh, well, I don't know. They died out. They all died out. Really? Yeah, they all died out. What'd they die of? I don't know. I, I don't know. What They were doing fine for a while, and then they all died out. All right. Well, they're not paying attention. And, um, it, and if you're not paying attention, you're going to get wiped out, okay? So you have to stay on top of it. It's a maintenance thing. All this stuff I tell you guys is maintenance, okay? It's like brushing your teeth every morning, okay? Taking your vitamins. Oh, go to the gym, too, and walk a mile every day. That's another thing I'm throwing on your plate. Uh, yeah, and then maintaining your bees, all right? So you got to stay with this stuff. Uh, otherwise, you'll lose your bees, and that ain't good, all right? So I'll see you on the next one, guys. Be happy, be strong. We got to keep getting it on. See ya.